Hello everyone, this is Manoj. Welcome to my React.js tutorial series. So today I am going to create a brand new series on React.js and in this series I will try to cover each and every topic related to React.js and this will be a complete React.js tutorial for beginners as well as for the advanced or intermediate developers and at the end of this course I will try to create one real project in that we will try to use APIs also for the front end we will use react.js so this is the first video of our react.js course and in this particular video I'll introduce react.js with you why react is so famous why we should use it and why all the web applications are going to use react as their front end work so today we'll going to cover all these information in this particular video so as you see on your screen basically react.js is a flexible javascript library which we use to create ui components and what is the main advantage of react.js using react.js you can create reusable components means you can create a single component and you can reuse the, that particular component into multiple components components is a kind of page you can say a kind of form right in web based applications we have multiple pages so those pages we can call as components there should be multiple components in a single page all right and another important factor about react.js is it is open source and it is component based front end library so as you can see these days a lot of web applications are using mvc pattern m for model v for view c for controller so that v v means view view is our react.js part all right so we can only create ui phase using react.js we cannot create backend things in react.js all right and it was created jordan walkie who was a software engineer in facebook as we already know maybe most of the people already know about react has been created by facebook and if you talk about the community there is a lot of people who are using react.js and every day day by day the community is getting increased massively all right and if you talk about facebook on facebook we have search component we have chat feature we have our photo section we have video section we have upload a post create a poll so all these things are a component and if you see facebook used uh, that react.js in their main products like whatsapp and instagram instagram is an application where 90 percent functionality has been built on react.js only really the front end features are has created in react.js and react.js has been created in 2011 and but it was officially released in may 2013 now comes to why react.js why you should learn react.js what is the scope so the thing is react.js is very flexible and it is easy to learn if you compare this with angular js or any other front end libraries so comparatively react.js is so easy to learn and one major factor is in react you write less code and you achieve more functionality as it is maintained by Facebook so there is a massive community of developers who are giving their you know support and day by day helping to increase the maximum uses of react.js by their experience also react.js is used to create a single page application SPA what does it mean use the end user will be on a single page if you talk about the traditional web based application so the, let's say there are 10 pages and if you want to move one page to another then the target page will be refreshed completely but in react.js you only redirect from one component to another means you you always 
should be in a single page you are not going from one page to another you are only rendering one component to another component that is why it is so fast and it is one directional means you can come top to bottom or bottom to top you cannot do that you can only come top to bottom because that is one way directional if you talk about the angular js that is two way directional you can come top to bottom and you can also go bottom to top and that single way binding is making it very fast as compared to angular js or vue js now what are the prerequisite of react let's say if you want to learn what you should learn in advance basically you should have a sufficient knowledge about html css and javascript you don't need to learn or you don't need to be master in javascript html css but you should learn something about it because as we already discussed react is all about front end ui stuff so you should be aware of, about html some css some javascript and es6 means ecmascript 6 so there are so many tutorials through which you can get some idea about no, you don't need to worry about if you are not aware about HTML, CSS, JavaScript. In this particular series, I'll teach you how you can learn HTML, CSS, JavaScript because we will we are going to use all of them in our series. Now, what are the technical requirements? So, if you want to do code in React.js, first thing you need to install node.js in your server for that you need to redirect this url node.js.org and here you need to download the stable version as you can see as of now this 10.15.3 this is the stable version so you need to in install it and another thing is ide so to write the react.js code most of the people are using visual studio code i'm also using and i recommend this to you to use visual studio code it is very simple and it is very effective it has a lot of libraries which makes your life very easy so these two things you need to install and once you install it then you can create react js project all right so this is about this video in the next video i'll show you how we can create a new react js project and after creating a new react js project what are the default file and folder structure so i hope you like this video i'll see you in the next one thanks for watching take care bye bye